I've been cruising with Norwegian Cruise Line since I was 11 years old. They're definitely one of my favourite cruise lines because I love the freestyle approach to dining. If you're considering a cruise with Norwegian Cruise Line, you might be wondering what the cruise fare actually includes in terms of food. Norwegian are very keen to tell you about their options that cost extra, but there's actually a lot of food included in the cruise fare. And you don't have to spend another penny on food once you're on board if you don't want to. I normally don't, and I have fantastic cruises with Norwegian. Cruises with Norwegian include breakfast, lunch and dinner in at least a main dining room and a buffet. If you don't want to spend another penny on food when you're cruising with Norwegian, you do not have to. In addition to the main dining room and the buffet, there's normally some other free food around the ship and that is what we're going to be covering in this video. Norwegian Cruise Line have a lot of speciality dining options on board. These are restaurants that cost extra and they're supposed to be a bit better than the food in the main dining room. That said, the food in the main dining rooms on Norwegian cruises is fantastic and even if you eat there every single night of your cruise, you'll still have a fantastic time. The first place where food is free is the buffet and Norwegian Cruise Line have massive buffets with massive amounts of variety. Food is cooked right in front of you and the buffet never really closes. On some cruise lines, they'll close the buffet completely between breakfast and lunch and lunch and dinner. It's not a problem, but it's really nice to cruise with Norwegian because they don't really ever completely close the buffet. If they're going from breakfast to lunch and lunch to dinner, they'll kind of close off a section and change that one over and then open a new section. There's pretty much food available all of the time, which is just so good. You can eat as much as you would like in the buffet and it is completely free. If you want to get five plates worth, if you want to go back again and again, you can do that. Everything is free. No one is looking at how much you're eating. You can completely go overboard. You pay for it, you might as well eat it. Most buffets for Norwegian Cruise Line are split into different sections. So they might have an omelette section over here, they might have a grill section there, they might have sandwiches here. And it makes it really easy to kind of decide what you want for lunch. That said, I wouldn't recommend just sticking to one section for lunch because there is so much food. What I like to do is get a little bit of Chinese food, a little bit of Indian food, a little bit of everything and just put it together. You end up with some really weird combinations of food on cruises, but that's one of my favorite things. On a cruise I recently took with Celebrity, I had a Yorkshire pudding and spaghetti on the same plate, which is something you probably should never do. But if you want that, you can have it. You're completely in charge of your own buffet experience. The buffet is a really great option if you just want to eat quickly, you just want to come in, grab some food and go. It can also be a great option where you can eat between meals. I often head there between lunch and dinner for afternoon tea or in the morning for brunch or in the evening for snacks. I tend to go to the buffet quite a lot when I cruise. In the buffet you'll find water, you'll find tea, you'll find coffee, you'll find some flavoured water, sometimes some lemonade, there'll be juices there at breakfast too and anything that's in the buffet just sat there you're free to drink, that's completely fine. They normally have a proper bar in the buffet too where you can order drinks similar to how you would on any other bar on the ship. It can be a really good idea just to grab a Diet Coke on your way into the buffet. Sometimes these buffets are massive and by the time you've walked around, you've found out all the food that you want, you've got to the end, you're miles from anything. Some of these ships are huge. So it's really good that they normally have a bar in there too. In addition to the buffet, there is the main dining room. Most Norwegian cruise line ships have more than one main dining room and Norwegian were the cruise line that kind of innovated that idea. Now we find a lot of cruise lines do have more than one main dining room. Back in the day when Norwegian did this, they were very innovative with this idea and it just means you've got more smaller restaurants rather than one massive one. It does feel a lot more intimate and just generally a nicer atmosphere to be in a restaurant with a few hundred people rather than you could fit thousands in some restaurants. Even though Norwegian Cruise Line do have multiple main dining rooms, some of them will probably have the same menu. They might have slightly different dress codes and atmospheres. One might be slightly more formal than the others, but it just means you've got more options about where you want to go for dinner. And sometimes it's nice just to change. I'm not a big fan of the cruise lines where you have a set table and a set time and set table mates, but Norwegian doesn't have any of that. To eat dinner on a Norwegian cruise, you just show up at the door and you say, hello, table for two, table for four, whatever you want, and they will seat you. I've never personally had to wait for a table, I don't think, but if you're eating at a very busy time or you've got a big group, you might have to wait. They'll give you one of those buzzers that they do in restaurants and you can get a drink and then come back when your table's ready. It's very, very easy. 
When you're finished with your meal, you simply stand up and you leave. It's amazing, but do not get into the habit of it because when you get back home, you go out to eat. I've been there before where I'm ready to go and you haven't paid because you get so used to just eating and leaving. It's really strange for the first kind of meal. You think like, can I, can I just go? And you can. Once you've eaten, you can leave. You can leave in the middle of the meal if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it. That's quite rude maybe but if you wanted to you could just leave you're free to go at any time in the main dining room you will be offered tap water for free as standard as soon as you sit down your glasses will be filled with water and ice and they will be continually topped up throughout your meal which is fantastic it's always important to stay hydrated but i think it's even more important on a cruise when you're out and about and you're doing things and maybe you're drinking things that aren't water the rest of the time. For me, dinner is my time to hydrate and drink as much of that free water as I can. They will have way to service in the main restaurant, so if you do want a Diet Coke or a beer or a wine or something, they will get that for you, that's no problem. That said, if you don't want to get a drink and you just want to stick with the water, that is no problem at all. They're not going to think that you're a cheapskate. To be honest, they probably prefer it because they don't have to do as much. In addition to the main dining room and the buffet, you'll find a bar or a pub or something that offers 24 hour food. On the older ships, this is called the Blue Lagoon. On the relatively new ships, this is called Oceans. And on the newer ones, it is called the Local. The idea is you just show up, it is a casual venue, you have hot dogs, you'll have chicken wings, you'll have burgers and nachos and pies and all that kind of good stuff. I really like eating in Oshi and sometimes I will go there between lunch and dinner. You really do just get used to eating more on a cruise and when you come home trying to stick back to your usual routine is more difficult than ever. On a few of Norwegian ships you will find a Asian or noodle kind of restaurant where you can go. I've been to it before on Norwegian Epic and it's very good, it's very yummy and I think on some cruise lines that would be a speciality restaurant. Sometimes it's nice just to have a change. It's probably the same sort of wok dishes that you could get in the main dining room but it's good and it's another option and it makes a change. You get to sit somewhere else and just feel like you're having something nice. It does get really busy though, so if you do want to go there, make sure you go either at a less busy time or you're kind of willing to wait. The best thing about cruising is you can eat as much and as often as you like. If you want to go to the main dining room and have dinner, maybe you don't fancy any of those desserts, you can go to the buffet and have a look at the desserts. Maybe by that time you're hungry again, so you can go to Oceans and have a hot dog. The food doesn't stop, no one minds how much you eat, you've paid for it, you might as well eat all of this free food. Norwegian do really like to sell their speciality restaurants and their speciality restaurants are fabulous, they're really really good, but you definitely don't have to eat in them to enjoy a Norwegian Cruise Line Cruise. As a rule I don't normally do speciality dining when I do cruise because I think I might as well eat the food that I've paid for. The food in the main dining room and the buffet is of a really high quality. The portions are fairly big, it's always hot, there's lots of choice. I'm not really sure what more you could want. Room service is available on Norwegian Cruise Line cruises but it does come at an extra cost so it's not something I've personally ever done. As I said, Norwegian have loads of speciality restaurants and they are really, really good. If you do have money to spend, definitely go to them. There's loads of ways you can book them. You can book them on the app, you can book them on your stateroom TV, you can phone them up, you can go there. There's loads of ways to book and of course they're more than happy to have you there. Some restaurants do get particularly busy and it might actually be worth booking them before you go on the cruise. On a lot of cruise lines, you will find that there is a lot of upselling of the products. I've never really found that to be too bad on Norwegian Cruise Line. There is an element of trying to get you to go to the specialty restaurants, but it's never really been too annoying. I've been on cruise lines which are much, much, much more annoying in terms of this. So I wouldn't worry about it if you are cruising with Norwegian. A lot of people who will eat in the specialty dining restaurants will do it because they have booked either a dining package or they've got a certain amount of specialty dining meals included when they booked. Norwegian Cruise Line do quite often use their specialty dining as a reason for people to book. A really quick recap now, Norwegian Cruise Line offer free food in the main dining room, the buffet and normally a bar or pub. You do not have to spend a single penny on food when cruising with Norwegian Cruise Line if you do not want to. Norwegian Cruise Line of course want to sell their specialty dining to you and their specialty dining is fantastic. If you have the budget for it, absolutely book a special meal somewhere but don't feel like you have to. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. I have loads more Norwegian Cruise Line content on this channel, so make sure you subscribe. I bring you a new video every single week, but for now, it's bye from me.